Hey what's up everybody I'm Amit here for Unboxing Nin and in this video I am going to share my review of Logitech M235 wireless mouse with you guys. So I have using this mouse for around 2 and a half month and my initial impression regards to this mouse are quite good. Let's begin with unboxing experience. This Logitech mouse comes in transparent plastic packaging with some information about this mouse on the back of it. Opening this thing is quite easy. Just pull this thing from any corners and that's it. I actually don't know about this before so I did open it from this side. Never mind once you open it you get your mouse and nothing else. No driver CD or anything like that. Just mouse itself which actually contain everything that you need to get going. On the bottom of this mouse you get your on and off slider switch with optical tracker right here. Keep in mind this is invisible one so don't try to make direct eye contact with it while it's turned on because it can damage your eyes. Apart from this we have a slider door right here which pops out like this and it holds single AA non-rechargeable battery which according to Logitech should last you about a year but we have to see how it holds up against time. Other than this we have this USB storage in here so you don't have to worry about losing this anymore while traveling or carrying this mouse in your backpack. Clever solution Logitech. Now let's talk more about this receiver. This is unifying wireless receiver which means it can connect up to 6 different Logitech devices like keyboard, gamepad etc. With this single receiver without killing more of your USB ports for different Logitech devices. And now moving back to mouse itself, in terms of build and design it's fairly simple and straightforward. Nothing too flashy or over the top in design. Although it has these nice rubber grips on both sides which provide good grip while holding it. Due to its design it's ideal for both left hand and right hand user. So you won't have to worry about this too. Both left and right click of this mouse are quite responsive along with smooth scrolling wheel. Tracking of this mouse is also good for its price. However, I definitely like to see an adjustable DPI setting in here. This Logitech mouse works great on almost every surface that we tested like wood, metal, cardboard etc with an exception of glass where it struggled to stay on point. Doing everyday tasks like surfing web, scrolling pages, editing and even light to moderate games work fairly well. We haven't noticed any input lag or stutters in our test. However, if you move towards intensive title, then you will start noticing some input lag. So I do recommend you to stick to your wired mouse, especially for this part. Apart from this, it works on almost on every operating system that we tested. Even on Android system which was not officially mentioned. But you need to find a way to insert this little dongle in. Because this thing doesn't have a Bluetooth connectivity option built in. So with pros of easy to use, a comfortable design and a 3 year warranty and cons of no adjustable DPI settings and no Bluetooth connectivity. So in my opinion this Logitech mouse works great as long as you are not a power user and I do recommend it for those who are looking for a decent wireless mouse in a budget. But yeah you have to live a dongle life too. So guys that's all for me now, if you like this video hit that like button and do let us know in the comment section below. Also subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos. Till now have a great day and catch you in the next one.